All right, guys, welcome back to Mod and Pop Thrift. My name is Tom, and I'm a stay-at-home dad for five kids, and we got one on the way. I got a handful of sales today. It is Friday, and it's already 11.30, so a lot of this stuff isn't going to get shipped out today, but the things that needed to go out went out um, already. Let's look at this little pile. If you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, um, or YouTube Shorts, you saw these shoes already. I claimed in that video that they sold for 30 bucks because that's what they were listed at and I didn't do enough research on my own sales. They sold for $23.90. Baby Jordans are generally fairly cheap and sell for decent money. They sold for $23.90 plus shipping. They're missing the insoles. They're size 7C, which is really small. Uh, like just learning to walk, depending on the kid you know my kids are huge uh my kids are all in the 90th percentile except for asher um and so like maybe this is a two and a half year old or maybe it's a one year old but anyway just just learning to walk need some uh sweet kicks these sold i paid 350 for them they were listed for like two weeks of active listing and Sold for $23.90 plus shipping. So I always recommend to people to pick up Baby Jordans because people like to spend money on their kids or as a gift for their friend who likes Jordans, that kind of thing. And they're normally pretty underpriced. Betamax. This is not a VHS tape. It is much smaller. Um, and it says beta on it this is the precursor to the vhs but it didn't survive once the vhs was created for a lot of reasons but um it's very collectible it's very 80s it's um kind of iconic and they're harder to find uh they don't always sell for a ton more money but when you can find a betamax uh essentially it's a vhs tape it's just like a different scale this is something else to look out for. White fuzz on the inside of VHS tapes, cassette tapes, anything that has this magnetic tape on it can get that white mold. And that's exactly what it is, is mold. And while it's not a deal breaker for everybody, it is, so anything that has this kind of tape, uh, it is a big deal because that'll get inside your player and mess up your player. So there are machines that clean them. Some people will take them apart and clean them. My brother retrofitted a VCR to be able to take a VHS tape and clean it because um, it opens it up and spreads the tape out. And then you put a scrubber in where the uh, head cleaner, where the head would be, the reader thing for the tape would be. Anyway, um, it's not a deal breaker on a tape like this that would be 25 or 30 dollars I sold it for 15 free shipping but it is something you need to disclose it is something that would ward off some buyers and uh, it is damaged so if you're selling VHS tapes make sure they're not moldy or that at least that you disclose the moldiness um, and then uh, look for Betamax because betas are unusual and sought after Foo Fighters. I picked up a whole bunch of cassette tapes. I paid $60 for a big, for like 27 cassette tapes, $2 and a quarter a piece. I paid for them. I sold this one all by itself for $21.30. It's the Foo Fighters uh, debut album. Big Me is on here. Um, and it's in really, really, really nice shape. So that that's a sought after 90s grunge, uh, punk, pop punk, alternative rock. Uh, that stuff is really hot right now. And rap and metal. So if you find that stuff, I sell country as well. But country, I'm going to sell 20 for $10 plus shipping. So I got to be in them for nothing in order to pick up country cassettes. But they will sell too. Um, but then speaking of cassettes, I have this pile over here. This sold in 20 minutes. 
I paid two dollars and a quarter a piece for these. I listed them for fifty bucks. They're seventeen, so thirty-two, thirty-four. So I'm like, so I'm, yeah, fifty bucks was a really good deal for these. But Green Day, uh, Presidents, Jars of Clay, Collective Soul, both of these being Christian bands, uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, Counting Crows. Offspring, Silver Chairs, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, stuff that is fantastic music, but not necessarily worth listing all by itself. Pete Townsend, Van Halen, and Bachman Turner Overdrive. Uh, so those sold for 50 bucks in minutes. You like what you see? And then I still have the reason that I bought Richardson. Hey Richardson, you're being a tool, man. Settle down. So the reason that I bought those tapes. <laughs> what? I just blocked you out. Okay, stop. I'm trying to make a video. Um, the reason I bought those tapes is because there was some Nirvana and Megadeth with them that all by themselves will sell for more than what I have in the lot. So those, between the uh, Foo Fighters and the uh, bulk lot, I got, I'm in the profit on that set. So, yeah, pretty good start. Air Force Ones have kind of always been a popular shoe. That continues now. And these triple blacks that I found the other day at Goodwill for like seven or eight bucks, not a great size. Um, eight and a half. Uh, sold for $41. So, triple black, low top Air Force Ones, AF1. That's a pretty good pickup. Nintendo collectibles are all kinds of things. These sleeves that you get, what you got inside the, whether they're branded or not, will sell. The branded ones are worth significantly more. I had 10 of them in the lot of video games that I bought the other day. I sold just the sleeves, uh, I wanna say four branded and six not branded. No, it's five and five. Yeah, five and five. So they sold, and those sold for 20 bucks free shipping, but I literally have nothing into them. They came with the games that I sold. And speaking of the games that I've sold, Mario, I tried every trick in the book. I could not get this to read properly. So it is what it is. It's dirty and it doesn't play right. It does read a little bit, but I think there's some kind of corruption with it. Um, I sold it for $12.99, free shipping, for a game that doesn't work. Bionic Commando, $11 free shipping for a game that does work. It's just not a great game. I like it, personally, because me and my brother played it a ton when we were young, but it isn't a great game playing it objectively now. So there's that. This thing is a hoarder house thing. Uh, in December, or maybe November of 2021, I bought the contents of a hoarder's house and cleaned it out and brought it all home, and it was not a great decision. I got a lot of great stuff, but it was more than I was capable of dealing with, and I'm still dealing with that stuff. I'm about ready to just dumpster it or uh, take it all to Goodwill and just get rid of it, because at this point, I know I'm not it's costing me more than I would ever make. But this SeaWorld map from 1995, I don't know why I'm holding it like that, you couldn't possibly read that. 1995 is, is the kind of collectible that a SeaWorld fan would want. Sold for eight bucks free shipping. It's hardly worth doing, but I have nothing into it and it's cool. Somebody, So somebody would want it. Oh, and this camera. Uh, this camera takes normal batteries, so I was able to run it through some paces to make sure that it kind of works. This yellow is a desirable... I'll fix it in a minute. The yellow is a desirable color and um, a little bit rarer. And it's a Canon. And I know I paid $5 for it at a an estate sale. They had it marked at 10 and it was half price day. Uh, and it sold for $56.
Okay, so we got some more shirts. This has been kind of a hectic day. My wife had a doctor appointment for the baby and I stayed home with all the kids because the kids don't need to go. When the kids were little, um, I used to go to every doctor appointment, but it's just not practical with five kids to go to every doctor appointment. Um, so I have five kids with me at home while she goes and gets a heartbeat checked and measured and stuff. And she already talked to me after the appointment. So in case you guys are wondering, everything's going fine and she's exactly halfway. When we moved into this house, this guy was left in the house. And I think it's, it's supposed to hold a wine bottle and look like he's drinking the wine. Um, it was nothing fancy when it was purchased in 2007 and I paid nothing for it because it literally left in the garage and I was like, someone will buy that. And what do you know, someone did for $30, sold for $29.99 free shipping. I went to a garage sale of a dude who, as it turns out, is also a, an eBay reseller. And he had a bunch of Star Wars-y stuff. And I was like, oh, this is cool stuff. And we talked for a couple minutes and I didn't know at that point he was a reseller, but he kind of knew I was. Um, and he's like, well, I've got a whole bunch of Star Wars, like Darth Vader stuff that I'd like to unload all at once. And I was leery at first because I'm like, well, this guy's an eBay reseller um and he's just part-time and he's like i i know it's got some value but i know you need to make money and so i i wasn't sure i was gonna we were gonna be able to come to a deal i was comfortable with but he basically it ended up being a hundred dollars for everything and there was like 29 figures or something and one of them was worth a hundred bucks so i'm like well that's easy like i'll make my money back when the big one sells and then everything else will be trickle in profit. That's a really good way to do lots. This sold, that was probably, was well over a year ago. This one sold for $15 plus shipping, buyers all in at $27. Uh, it's a Walmart exclusive Droid Factory um, Darth Vader. Uh, not a quick seller, but a, a cool item that did eventually sell. How about... Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so this, Rise Against. This is a vintage t-shirt. It has the hang tag in it, 2004. So it's almost the technical definition of vintage, which doesn't exist. Um, but it's 2004. It's older. Rise Against. Sold for $11 plus shipping. Band tees do okay. That one didn't do as well as most. Uh, went to a yard sale a couple of days before we left, picked up this XL size tap out skull warrior thing. You know the vibe. Uh, big size helps sell this one. The skulls on the MMA stuff helps sell it. Uh, so I'm gonna pick that one up. I paid a dollar and it sold for $15 plus shipping. I picked up a whole, whole bunch of vintage Pearl Snap Western wear shirts this one is a very nice coral color um and it's i've had it i've had it listed for a long time i listed a, all of them basically for 12.99 plus shipping and i sold through most still had this one 12.99 plus shipping and then this is the fates fate of the furious which that movie's just now coming out for the, the next one this is a size extra large. I think I got this on Whatnot, Fate of the Furious. Just not a valuable shirt. Normally, uh, T-shirts that are, man, I need to lint roll that before I send it. Uh, T-shirts that are um, movie promos do really well. This did not. Um, and it's not like it's a horribly unpopular movie, but it's not you know, Harry Potter. Uh, so I think that's everything. We looked at this shirt, the tapes, the droid. Oh, I sold these, paid $15 for these shoots, shoulder pads. Uh, I pick up shoot brand helmets and shoulder pads if they're less than 20 bucks, because most of the time they're worth 50-ish. But comp them, don't 
just take my word for it. But you don't have to take my word for it. Ask these guys, Reading Rainbow. Oh uh, yeah, th and that's, that is everything. So I'm gonna get these shirts packaged and I think I can still get them out in time to catch the mail today. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Um, we'll see you on the next one.